how often are you picking up the phone to refresh that feed how often are you picking up your phone to actually see if somebody's commented or not how often are you picking up your phone to see if somebody has liked your post now that is an addiction give it up for siddharth rajesh Do you want to know the 10 ways on how you can actually digitally detox yourself and be more productive? You know what this is going to be a very important video because most people today are stuck with their phones. There's so much of screen time that's happening and the face to face time is actually reducing so much. So the human connection is actually being lost and even though it may apparently seem that there's a lot of connection happening in the digital space, it is still very superficial and it is not really conducive for you know one to move forward. Yes, you can say I have so many likes, I have so many comments and there's a human to human connection over there. It's fine, but it is still superficial and it's not the real connection uh, that's there and most people are stuck in this world and they are addicted to this news feed and addicted to all of the stuff that's happening in the digital space in fact go and watch this a uh, documentary called uh, you know it's called social dilemma uh, on netflix and it'll tell you more about these issues that are deeper issues than one can ever realize you know because these social media platforms all have started off with the intent to you know make the world a better place make them more connected but it is turning out to become a different animal right now unless we are cautious unless we're able to use it in the right way and there's nothing good or bad about this it's about how we use it so for example fire is uh, it is an amazing uh, form of energy you can use it in the positive to cook food and make beautiful things or you could also get burnt with fire you know so you got to play with fire in the right way you need to understand the context and the rules of how to use it in the best possible way and that is the reason i'm doing this particular video okay so just grab your notepads and papers and let's understand 10 ways on how you can digitally detox yourself to become more productive and make your life much more sublime and much better in every aspect okay so the first one is uh, i would recommend is delete all social media apps from your phone uh, keep only the ones that are essential sometimes you know we're just downloading so many apps without even knowing how many apps you are downloading and just endlessly scrolling you know screen by screen by screen it goes into multiple pages in fact what i did was uh, i just deleted all the apps from my phone i only have four applications on my home screen right now which is i have telegram to message my community i have a uh, safari for me to browse i have my notes apple notes to take notes on it and number 4 is uh, let me see what is the other app i don't have my, yeah my phone is over here right now the fourth app that i have is my calendar just to know what Uh, what is there on my calendar uh, besides that i have the whatsapp i have the sms uh, notifications phone all of those are important which leads me to the second number second point is uh, remove all notifications like i've removed all notifications from all apps okay except the call and even calls are always always on silent mode i don't like to have ringtones and stuff before i used to be like a fancy thing for me to keep changing ringtones but now i really don't need that and you know once i've removed notifications especially from whatsapp I've started to get so much more productive because WhatsApp is like one big animal of distraction, okay? And you know, sometimes it can be disastrous in your life by having so many distractions because when you're focusing on something really important, and imagine if this like a ping one pop up happens, it's going to take you at least 20 minutes to come back to that state of focus to actually doing the real thing, okay? And it's really uh, amazing on how my productivity increased after I removed all notifications from my phone. and i started to get more focus so second tip for you is to remove all notifications from your phone from all the apps and accept the call which you need to pick up you know because th that's what is meant for okay the third point is a big one i would recommend that you don't have any mobile phone in your bedroom okay and uh, some people may think okay i need to keep an alarm so that i can wake up in the morning i need the phone next to me okay if that's the case you can put it on airplane mode but as much as possible If you can keep the phone away from your bedroom, trust me, you'll have much better sleep. Okay, you'll have much better uh, because all the 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 frequency and the waves around this thing it actually affects your brain patterns. And there's a lot of study that has been done on this. So if you can cut down the phone being in the space where you're actually living, uh, especially where you're sleeping, that's best. In fact, keep it in a totally different room. If you have, if you have to buy like an old-fashioned alarm only for the alarm's sake, please do that. Okay. The best thing would be to is to have a body alarm itself. Like just in, before you go to sleep, set the intention and just think that you're going to wake up at that time and you will wake up at that time. Okay. So that's the third point. There's no mobile in the bedroom is a tip. If you can do it, great. Okay. Number four is monitor your screen time. 
like since I'm using an iOS device, uh, there's something called screen time and I can see uh, how much time is going towards social media, how much time is going towards, uh, towards productivity tools and all the apps that I'm using on a continual basis. And uh, for, a few, for a few weeks, I just let things go just to understand where things are going. And I, I was able to actually see that I'm spending, you know, quite a lot of time on social media. And I was doing that just to, I installed all the social media apps just to see whether I have that, you know, that, uh, what do you say, determination and mind control to overcome the social media apps. And I don't, okay. When the apps and Instagram is on my phone, when Facebook is on my phone, I do open it to just check what's happening. And I don't realize how much time is actually going. So if you can monitor your screen time, then that will help you actually do much more. Okay. That's the fourth tip for you. The fifth tip to digitally detox yourself and be more productive is uh, having an awareness, okay, it's awareness, okay, N-E-S-S, in your newsfeed addiction. Like, imagine you have your Facebook app or anything installed on your phone. If you are able to be aware from a third person's view, be aware in terms of how often are you picking up the phone to refresh that feed? How often are you picking up your phone to actually see if somebody's commented or not? How often are you picking up your phone to see if somebody has liked your post? Now that is an addiction. Okay. It is a subconscious thing where you're drawn towards picking up that phone to see what's going to, what's happening. The more you build that awareness, the more you can resist it. Because if you're not aware, you're just going to go in autopilot mode. Not a good place to be in. Okay. And you'll be in that mode. So this is the fifth point is to build more awareness. Number six is, uh, as much as possible, no tech on dinner table, especially if you're a family together and stuff. You know, I've seen many families, even in my own family, like you know, kid is uh, sitting, watching TV and having food. And we made it like a policy right now that okay, let's eat together at least. Let's sit, to the, sit on the dining table together and no phones on the dining table. Okay, let's keep it on the side because otherwise what ends up happening is all the members of the family are sitting on the same dining table and all of them are looking into their phones. I mean, what's the point of this? First of all, there's no conscious uh, consuming of food. It is you're, you're texting on one side, you're eating on one side, and you're not even looking at the other person. I mean, it doesn't seem right to me. So see if you can incorporate this policy into your family. Number seven is uh, clean your, your news feed, okay? Not new feed, clean your news feed on a regular basis. Like what I do is on my Facebook news feed or Instagram feed, you know, sometimes if I see posts which are really not relevant or they are, even though somebody may be in my community, but they are posting stuff which is really not useful or valuable. They're just complaining and they are, they just, uh, you know, complaining about stuff and wanting empathy. And, and I just remove all of those posts. There's an option to select on that person and say, uh, unfollow. You can unfollow them or you can remove the post from the timeline. You can still be their friend, but you'll not see any of their posts in your timeline. And when you constantly keep cleaning up your newsfeed, you'll start to see the better stuff will start to evolve. Like for me, every time I open up my newsfeed right now, I have good information. Like I don't even see all the negative news, anything in negative news. Anyways, it just comes, it pops up on the side if somebody else is talking about it. But predominantly on my feed, it's all positive stuff. When I say positive is useful, informative, productive. I like to follow those kind of people. And those who are not posting those kind of things, I've removed all of them from my newsfeed. And I continue to clean it up, okay? So clean up your newsfeed for a better uh, consumption, okay, of content. Number eight is uh, get a digital detox buddy if you have to. You want an accountability partner, a close friend, somebody within your own family, maybe your own spouse, and just have a buddy and you know, set a policy and say, okay, I'm gonna hold you accountable, you hold me accountable. And even if it means carry, you know, sharing screen time and sharing what all has been done, you know, it actually will help you move forward, okay? Number nine is, uh, no screen time before sleeping will actually help you get better sleep. And even on phones and the technology devices, uh, they have this uh, night mode setting where once it moves after 7 p.m., everything starts to become more yellow light because white light is very bad for sleep and it affects your sleep. So if you're able to incorporate the night mode and see more yellow light, like in my case, uh, I have to have screen time and I'm doing webinars at 9 p.m., 10, 11 p.m. in the night. But you know, as much as possible, I'll, I don't want to sleep in the bed and look into the phone, I like to keep the phone somewhere else. Okay, and let's say I'm listening to some audio. I love to listen to podcasts and the strangest secret in the world before I go to sleep. That I put it in flight mode. I just put the audio in and just close my eyes and I don't want to see the screen like at least for 30, 40 minutes before I sleep. 
and it actually helps me get better sleep. And I'm able to track that using my Aura Ring over here, okay? O-U-R-A-R-I-N-G, I have a ring that tracks my sleep. And I'm able to see those patterns, the days that I go longer into, uh, into the night on my screen, it affects my sleep, okay? And the final point is, uh, see if you can check your emails just twice in a day, because this is also an addiction. Just like social media addiction, we also have an addiction on our, uh, on our emails. We wanna check our emails every few minutes, every few hours every few seconds, also in some, some cases. So when it comes to checking and replying to emails, if you can block like two, uh, maybe two slots in a day, 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the evening, you know, trust me, your, your productivity is gonna be so much higher uh, and you'll be able to focus on the rest of the time in creating things. And I've always said this even to my students is, when you're able to create more than you consume, you will get rich. And 90% of the world today are consumers and they're not creators. The creators are the ones who are making money on YouTube. The creators are the ones who are influencers on Instagram. The creators are the ones who are actually making a difference in other people's lives as influencers. And the consumers are the ones who are just consuming and they do not know where their time is going. I'm not saying consuming is not important, but see the ratio. For me, it's like at least 20 to 30% of consumption and 70% to 80% in creation. Creation of creating videos like this, creating podcasts, creating strategies, recreating my courses, creating plans so that I can you know, record videos for my community and a whole bunch of stuff that I do where I'm using my mind to really think about new things rather than just consuming things. If I have to consume, also very aware. Uh, I only follow like few people. I only have like two, three mentors. I don't just endlessly keep watching and binge watching on YouTube, all kinds of stuff. I don't binge watch on Netflix. If I have to ever watch anything on Netflix, I only watch documentaries that are going to enhance my creative part of learning and it's a conscious decision and I've purposely done that as painful as it may seem because I'm a movie lover I love to watch movies and stuff but I've actually cut down on all of that and that's actually helped me grow uh, as a person it's helped me grow in my business okay yes yeah, so you need to have the recreation time I love to catch movies as well but it's not like on a daily basis it's like maybe once in a week once in two weeks catch a movie with the family and stuff but it's not like a daily thing so I hope these uh, 10 points have helped you. Just to recap, number one is delete all social media apps from your phone. Two is remove all notifications from your phone. Number three is uh, see if you can do away with the mobile phone in your bedroom. Number four is if you can monitor your screen time better to see where your time is going so you can eliminate and delete those apps. Number four is awareness uh, of your news addiction. Be aware of you know how frequently you're picking up your phone. Number six is uh, no tech on dinner table. Number seven is if you can clean your news feed on a regular basis to ensure that you get the right information uh, even after that. Number eight is get a de digital detox buddy who can help you with this. Number nine is no screen time just before you go to sleep, at least 30 minutes to one hour before you sleep and check emails only twice a day. If even one person watching this video is able to incorporate these 10 steps, your life is going to be a complete 180 degree shift in the next 12 months. Okay, because most of the world today are in this autopilot mode and they're really not productive. And you can, by just, you just doing the, these 10 things, you're gonna be seeing a massive growth in your personal life, in your professional life, in your business and whatever else that you do. Okay, so if you found this video useful, uh, please type in the comment box on uh, what you thought about it. Which is that one out of, which one big action you're gonna be taking immediately after this video, please share that in the comment box and I would love to read your comments. Cheers, God bless and keep watching for my future videos. Bye-bye.